Fucking a little, a tiny little smidge of the next song played. A little, like a little uh, half second of a song that I, I shouldn't play. I need to, need to move more of my pre-stream stuff onto a, a specific playlist on here just so that that doesn't happen. Because there's a lot of weird shit on this playlist that I could play. I have Cats on Mars. I don't know what that is. I have Pizza Taco. I know what Pizza Taco is. I have two versions of mind mapping, which I have no idea what that is. I have something called juice lumps, which I'm very scared to click on. What do you think juice lumps is? I'm going to click on juice lumps. That's just the Goosebumps theme. Why is it called juice lumps? Maybe it has like Undertale music halfway through it or something. A lot of these were ripped straight from Tumblr years ago. Play the rest of it? Okay. If I get like killed because of this. <laughs> of fucking course it's that. Of course it's that. What else would it be? No, it is not actually just the Goosebumps theme. <laughs> that is not the Goosebumps theme. That's fucking Megalovania. <laughs> That's Megalomania. <laughs> Holy shit. I also have uh, I have something called Escape. Uh, I don't know what Escape is. Let's, let's listen to Escape real quick. I don't like this. Wait. This is Kirby music, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's Kirby music. All right, uh, I, I could sit here all night and play audio files, and maybe one, maybe that'll be a stream that I do. Maybe that'll be a fucking reward for the subathon if I get like two hundred dollars. It's like, all right, I'm just gonna play random audio files on my computer because this is what people want. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, I'm not listening to this. <laughs> I look at the thumbnail for that. I ain't fucking listening to that. Probably just some fucking Undertale music halfway through Psychic. I mean, I know what I have on my computer. I just don't know where it all is. Anyway, today is our bundle game night. I'm glad that all of you are here. Uh, tonight, I have a I have a bunch. I have a bunch of bundles prepared in case they don't last that long. Probably going to go for about three hours, maybe, th maybe four. I'm going to try to wean myself up. I'm going to try to wean myself up to like proper stream length. Uh, we did that RimWorld stream for four hours. That was fucking miserably. That was fucking miserable, rather. Miserab. Because, man, that... Oh, God, that RimWorld stream kicked my ass. But we're still alive. We lost Cornhauler. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, um, wiener yourself up. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. 
I'm just going to go to the hot dog stall and order one hot dog, and then the next day I'm going to order two hot dogs, and they're going to be like, oh, I see you're taking the, the hot dog a day challenge, and then I'm going to order three hot dogs, and they're start beating me to death with, like, metal pipes, because they know if you eat four hot dogs after eating, you know, the Fibonacci sequence of hot dogs beforehand, you gain ultimate power. It's a secret that all hot dog cart vendors, like, have to carry to their grave. What am I talking about? Today we're playing a game called Magic Wand. Um... Corn hauler can join the ranks of security bot. And there's another thing. Glocky. <laughs> yes. I was actually going to make that joke in the description, or the, the stream going live thing. It was going to be Magic Wand, not the Hitachi variant, but I didn't want to get banned. Corn Harvester. I'm not even naming them correctly. I don't even deserve to to be at their funeral anyway we uh there's a read me okay i'm gonna okay i'm gonna actually hold up this is super important all right hey everyone welcome to my desktop it's not normally this clean um do you like my chickens i like my chickens anyway today we're playing this game magic wand you might not be able to see it because it's I'm streaming at 1080 and my monitor's 1080. But uh, we have a readme here. Greetings! Welcome to Magic Wand, the game you play to win? Instructions below. Uh, we're just going to put a, a phone dial in there. W A S or W A S D or arrow keys or numpad arrows. Move your guy. Numpad arrows? Wait, like. Eight four six two, that numpad arrows. Oh God. Um. Left click or R or numpad seven. Talk attack when draw sword. E. Okay. So oh God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I could just use the. Hold on. Numpad seven. Numpad. Num so I could just use my numpad to play this game. Escape menu. Right click. Look around. Okay. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I have to use. Non-trackpad mouse is recommended. I have a laser mouse. Wait. Non-trackpad. What is a trackpad? Hold on, I have to fucking Google what a trackpad is. That's like the ball, right? What is a trackpad mouse? What is a trackpad? Small cursor, uh, control device located in the center of the keyboard. What? Oh god, okay. Yeah, no, they don't want me to use the 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 Blackberry clitoris. So that's I and I'm gonna call it that. I don't care if that if that is the thing that gets me cancelled. I don't if, care if that's the thing that makes people really fucking pissed at me. I don't care if that's the thing that makes people stop watching my screen. I will call it the Blackberry clitoris because that's what the fuck it is, and it shouldn't have ever ever been on a laptop or a track it, it shouldn't exist. It only got in the way. Man, I sound like an idiot. Anyway, yeah, no, we don't have a trackball. We're fine. <laughs> we don't. We're fine. All right. Uh, press Alt Enter to toggle full screen. I'm gonna put this over here. Actually, I'm probably gonna need this. Perfect time to tune in on my rant for <laughs> my fucking my BlackBerry keyboard uh, rant. <laughs> And this also has the guy's email address and shit on it, which, to be fair, this game is publicly available, so it's probably not that bad to uh, say. Uh, okay, let's give it a shot. I'm going to keep this over here just in case, because I'm probably going to need to hit these buttons again. I assume that I can play this uh, full screen. It's Alt-Enter, I think. Oh, Antony. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh, god, okay. Uh, you know what I think I will do? Okay, I'm like grooving. Oh, okay, a couple things. First things first, I need to lower the volume. Second thing second, I need to fix chat, because chat's gonna be in the way. New mouse. All right. So let's just open this up. Oh god, I have to. I have to unalt enter it. Okay, perfect. Oh wait, hold on. Let me. 
gonna do this real quick. Eh, no one look. Uh, volume mixer. Hello? Magic wand? Okay. Uh. Okay, it's this one. I'm gonna turn this down to like... Here? Oh. Oh god. I don't know how- I don't know how loud is good, because it keeps on muting whenever I look away. I'm gonna do some jank shit real quick, so no one- no one think. That's still very loud. Oh, it's not affecting what I hear. I see what the problem is here. I'm gonna have to lower this in... like here. Okay, is that actually quiet for y'all? It is, okay. Ah, uh, technical issues. Okay, is that, how is that level? This is my voice, I'm talking, music's jamming, everyone sound okay? That seems fine to me. That looks, looks okay on my levels, but it might be a little loud. <clears throat> Alright, just go with that. Let me put this back over here, let me minimize you. Alright. Close that. <clears throat> oh, jeez. I didn't mean to sound so grody today. Uh, let's capture magic wand. Hey, okay. Oh, oh, that's interesting. What happens if I do this? Oh, it's like literally fine. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna quickly smidge this to the left here. <laughs> and no, I think there's going to be no chat this time. Unless I shrink chat, which I don't think people are going to enjoy. Hmm. I should have always I should have done this before stream. Oh well. We'll just uh we'll just get rid of chat and reset this. Yeah, we're going chatless. A lot of these games are going to be going chatless unfortunately. So no chat. Okay. There we go. All right, let's start. We're good. Any percent no chat. Red digit. Once more lost amid the barren plains, his noble spirit spent upon unnameable substance. Good red digit searches for his friends. Oh. I indeed. Damn, I d indeed can. I do search for my friends. Ooh. Is this fucking Qbert? No. It's. I can do this. I can really do this, in fact. I got like a Mario Paint hands for a second. This is a very crusty game, and I kind of, I'm kind of here for it. Okay, hold on. Right click, look around. Left click or seven on numpad. Oh god. <laughs> Jump off the edge? Sh sh should I? I don't, I don't want to. I'm scared. <laughs> this game's soundtrack is already a banger. Hold up. can't fall into this hole. Oh, creatures. What are you? Oh. Of course. My bodily form has perished. Please take this silver rod to Prince Fabrizio. My coat has no pockets. Damn. Hello? Oh, wait, I was talking to this guy. I thought I was talking to these, like, kissing club penguin penguins up here. Can I talk to them? No, I can't go that high. I didn't realize I was talking to this. Also, my coat has no pa- That's a very lame excuse, Radigit. Oh my god, what are you? Welcome to Yit Big City. Oh god, what is this ghost man that's- Oh! I, I'm guessing that was an enemy because that was the loudest thing I've heard in my entire life and it jump scared the shit out of me. Hello? Bushranger. Pots and pans by trade I eat. If you have a pot, give it to me. No. <laughs> hey, GB. <laughs> uh, so how's everyone doing tonight? I hope y'all are ready for this. <laughs> Just a lot of this. 
I ca I'm kind of in, like in love with this game's art style. Oh my god, you can... It's so weird. I, I love it. It's like weird as shit. Oh, a hotel. Look, a hotel! I apparently have $3.39 Meowth coins. Uh, yes, I see. RRCC and CRCC. They say Big Doug is in town. They say he's fierce. Go! Uh, Alright, we gotta look out for Big Doug. Oh, a jar. Can I grab? Oh, I can break. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, oh, wait, what is this? Is this coin? No. I'm gonna. Okay. Well, we can break pots. Oh my goodness. Is there a wizard battle happening out here? What is this? <clears throat> this is all a bit old fashioned for me. Ratchet, look, we're summoning the dead. <laughs> what? Um, I only know what has been or will be, but Hampered End is at the train station, I think. Ah, uh, everything's going well for me today. <laughs> okay. Watch out, it's Ruskin. He'll paint your picture, then torment you for years. I just spent a dollar on, like, a gotcha machine. Corpse pit. The animated corpse of a fictitious individual possessing the unhelpful wisdom of the dead. One more. Skulldug. Secretive person who lives in the ground. It has one eye for looking at pots. <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, I'm gonna be real, I kinda, I'm kinda in love with this game already. Oh, there's a basement, hello. Hmm. Huh. Mysterious Moe's. I'm not the only Moe's you'll meet along your way. How mysterious. Oh. That sound effect was in Sturdy Valley. How do I look at my inventory? Hold on. Is there an inventory button? Oh, here we go. Soda? Capsules. Oh my god. Oh, okay, alright. Can I grab this thing? The jumping is locked, by the way. So if it looks a very... Like, my jumps are very strange. I can't actually... Oh, I can fucking TF2 air strafe? Are you joking? No, I can't. Wait, can I? Hold on. I don't think I can. I think it, it just looks like I can. Also, who's this creature? Black Cat. Yawn, Mogi Mogi 84. A most excellent vintage. <laughs> it is a stock sound effect, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, the pots are back. Thank God. Oh, alright, we left the hotel. We left the hotel. Aren't you evil? You are evil. Thank God I'm amazing. Is this a skull? Just, just you? I guess it is. Um, hold on, there was a goon here. They vanished. Alright. Can I slice this thing? No, can I slice these bottles? No, okay. The ghost is enjoying its life off the edge of the map, so we're gonna go this way. Oh my god, okay. Oh, this is a... Alright, this is like a map screen. We know, I just came from here, hold up. Oh god, okay. Like he slice in the over map. What is this place? What are you? Turnip. 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 <laughs> I love this guy's style. <laughs> Yum, abstracty farmer. Entity. <laughs> I hope that I'm identified as an entity when I die. <laughs> Turnip. <laughs> New emote, turnip. Oh. I get I get jumped outside of the turnip farm. Truly a tragedy. Oh, there's a noise. Where are you? Help! My flannel came alive and attacked me. What the fuck? Where is it? Is it over here? Flannel. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, 
Okay. Oh! Okay. Well, now we know what happens if you fall into the void. The void spits you back out. Uh, I can predict that I'm going to fall into the void roughly most of the time. Flannel moving west. I don't, I don't feel like attacking you. Jump off more. Loop it. I don't know if I should. This feels like a bad idea. I guess I technically could get up there by doing this? Hold up. My watchful friend, if you notice... If you will, if you will notice, I am armed. Tch. They're letting all sorts into the desert these days. Wow, okay, wise cat. Okay, wise guy. No gotta be like that. I want to talk to that creature. Wait, is this speakable? Don't tread on me. Spider crag. What if I... St what if I do anyway? Oh. Hold up. Okay. Perhaps you fall into an identical alternate universe. Ah, so Noito rules. I didn't think I'd be playing Noida on stream ever again, but here we are. Oh, hello. Bah! Only flowers. Uh, indeed. Oh. Well, damn. Taken before we're even introduced. Hello. There's a coin purse on that peak. Where? Up here? Oh god, what is- okay, Q does something. I don't know what Q does. It- oh, it like auto-moves. Whack. Alright. Is this the- why would you never play Noida again? It's just really hard and repetitive. Then again, I'm playing RimWorld, so I shouldn't even be talking. It was mostly a joke. I, I was actually thinking about streaming Noita a few weeks ago. I just didn't. It's also like- it's super, super strange just to, like, actually get anywhere in the game. It's my most popular clip, which is very funny. I kind of wonder why that one blew up as much as it did. I think it- I think someone just posted it to a bunch of places. I like how the moon is clearly below this mountain. So this isn't a moon, but some kind of, like, alien parasite. Alright, what's going on over here? Ah, this place looks fleshed out. Hello? Why are you in, like, a rust fort? Oh, jeez. Ow. I got hit. Hello? Careful! There's no hotels in the magic wasteland! And yet I push on. Well... Hello? Hello? Hmm. Oh. oh. There's someone in here. Hello. Clam. Welcome. Welcome to my home. Slippy footing. Move with care. Uh, the clam juice? Clamato? Can I break this box? No. It looks super breakable, though. Oh, there's something up there. <gasps> That's a mouse. I want to go talk to it. Hello? Low life. Sorry, low low. No one can pull this enchanted sword froth the earth because it is sticky. Yeah? No, I'm good. I don't want to pull it. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Don't want to do that. What is that thing? Oh, this is like a crashed airship? I love Noida, however, I'm not overly fond of games where I don't gain any sort of progression on death. It is stained. It is a strained love. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you learn, like, the, the progress you gain from Noida is, like, learning where things are that'll make you go farther next time. Like, all the health power-ups and all the spells you can get by exploiting shit. But it's still kind of rough. I owned a magic wand once, but then I lost it. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going up here to talk to the mouse. That's if I can. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, um, here we go. Well, this is a interesting platforming challenge. By interesting, I mean, don't know how well I'm going to do here. Mods, though. <laughs> I forgot how vibrant the Noita mod community was.
Hello. I'm sliding off your head. Moose 2. I am Moose 2. I am too powerful to dwell in the world below. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm really sad that they didn't just go away and like fade out of the existence. Did I talked to this guy? I already did. There's no hotels. Alright. Um. Well, I guess that's it. Hold on, there's something here to break. Hmm. Oh, wait, can I cut bushes? I can cut bushes. That's... Okay, we're learning more about this game. Okay, okay, we're learning. Is this something? This looks like a coin. Oh, it has Steam Workshop. I didn't I actually had no idea that was a thing. Well, I need to go back and play more Noida. Hey, you. Ghost guy. Ow. I keep on getting damaged by ghost guys. Oh! What is this thing? Ow. I'm actually taking a lot of damage here. What are you? What continent? Yes, this... No. Yeah, get him, big bro! Whatever you say. Uh, okay. Oh, hello? Guidebook train station in the middle of the desert? Oh, God. This looks like a bombed out Minecraft structure. Big Doug's Death Fort. No suckers. <laughs> Oh, you got me there. Knock, knock. It's locked. What if I just, like... I can't. Okay. No suckers. <laughs> no freaking idiots. Ooh, actually. Hello? Oh, I thought for sure. Hold up. There's a thing up here, though. So there's a window there. This game is whack. Pots. I literally can't jump over them. This guy's gonna get pissed. Oh no! Big Doug's pot collection. Why did you leave them here? Sorry. I better vamoose. Okay. Made a poor decision coming here. Okay. Oh, this is bad. All right. Oh, God. Okay. This is like an actual thing. I have to polish Big Dead's pots all day. Look at these pots. They're worth more than my life. Well gonna do this then. Uh, I should have put a photosensitivity warning. Didn't... Hopefully this isn't the kind of thing that activates photosensitivity. I apologize if it is. Uh, maybe just look away for this stream. <laughs> Ode to a Greasy Urn by Big Doug. Moose... This, the music is so loud. Holy shit. Moose, can thou sing a song of sweet as urns that Big Doug loves to eat? May all art yeast in thy hand be equal to this savior grand. Ah, there art 144 additional cantos. Let's see. Oh god, okay. Hold up. Alright, the sodas cure me. Is this a Hitchhiker's Guide reference? I have no idea. A soda! Alright. Alright, no, you're not evil. Y'all are, though. The allure of this game so far is the want to believe that everything actually makes perfect sense in context and that we are the whack ones. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, honestly. Are you here to deliver more pots? What do you think? Oh, wait, who are you? Ah, cold wind? Oh, woo! -hoo -hoo. Oh god, oh. Hello. 
I am the Count of Monty Big Doug. Oh, is that why you're buried in the side of this thing? Is that a reference? Is that a classic literature reference? There is no use, my dopey friend. No one can escape. Thou art doomed. Doom! There's a big hole in the wall just over here. <laughs> he gads. I was standing in that room for 40 years. <laughs> this is so dumb. These skulldogs are sweet, but they pay in bases. Ah, rock candy? Oh, ho, a fresh dug. You'll dug well for yourself here. Listen, Big Doug wants more dug on the sub level. Let's get down there on the duggle. Oh, good lord. Okay. Doug, dig. I feel like I'm losing my mind playing this, and I know that's the point. In Thy's room, we dig up the pots. Wait, there's a pot mine? How does that work? Doug, 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 Doug. Hey, it's rude to Eve's Doug. Sorry, damn. The Ode Degrees or whatever sounds like a poem from Hitchhiker's Guide. Oh. I'm actually very unfamiliar with Hitchhiker's Guide. I found a house. Hello, my friends. <laughs> oh, it's a person. It's not a, it's not a structure. It's just a guy named House. I found a house. Hello. <laughs> uh... Oh, where is the rascal? I'll crush him! Sir, you're stepping on my cape! Oh, is that a boss? Does this game have boss fights? With sturdy fish hook, I denounce all foes. None shall get my pots. Big Doug shall preserve. Please stop waving that thing around. Okay. <laughs> it's me, the challenger. Ah, ye post pots vandal. Now thou sin for it, you rascal. Tis the big bully on guard. Oh, oh my God. He's he's firing like a boomerang. Oh. Oh God. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Ouch! Big Doug was trip Doug. You're the only one surprised by that. Oh, we're here now. That's good. What are you doing here? We're dugging! Uh, oh, treasure. Power A, check. Spig Trachusar, check. Maggie Box, check. Hop Doodle. Can I take them? No. What is this PNG? Cut, cut. It's just a knife? It's just a rogue knife? Wait, is this a fork? Stick. You see anything you liked? Yes, Wendy. There's a lot of things that I've enjoyed in this hellhole. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going this way. <laughs> what the hell is this game even? I don't know. Oh? Oh. Welcome to the groovy city. I'm gonna drink a soda. Because I'm in pain. Squeak! Tickets, please. Oh. Oh, here we go. This is a regular train jam. I like this. Chomp, chomp. I'm working. <laughs> this game is so charming. <laughs> I fucking love this game. Alright, I'm becoming a Magic Wand streamer exclusively. <laughs> not get killed by a train, mind you. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> oh, BRB. I, th I thought GB just said, alright, bye. <laughs> Welcome to the night train. Coming up, Swamp Doug plays the modern sounds of country and western. Yspar hath the finest metal sheets. Stage. I wish I weren't a mole on the ground. Damn. That's really sad. 
hello. I spent too long on the ground and turned into a heli. Is that what happens? How does that work? Is this a mimic? Traveling trunk. Ha ha, sir, they mouse not believe it, but I was owned by the Prince of Goblin Land. I can show you there and we'll get rich. Ha ha, we will not venture nothing gained. I like to go to Goblin Land. I like goblins. Goblins are pretty cool. I love this. Oh, hello. Hey, Hamperton, what's up? Fellow, I know you not. I am busy. Where Hampton and go? Last call, casting off. Oh, oh wow. That is definitely a way to show that the land is moving. Multiple Hampertons. Oh, how rude. Oh, don't make eye contact with it. <laughs> I think his house was just connected to a train station. No Hamperton in this sector. I'll take both of you on. Haha. -ha. Hey, don't step on my crystals. This is a holdup. We're here to take the crystals. Similar absence of Hamperton. I'm just looking for my friend, ignoring this, like, robbery. Some Hamperton's here. Oh, do take them with you. They are ruining my comp composition? Hamperton, how hast thou been? Oh, sir, don't you know it's rude to talk to people you've never met before on trains? Alright. This is all, all quite vexing. Ah, we're passing through a tunnel. Bump, bump. I can't help it. Bump, bump. Oh. I hate the ghost train. Yeah, but their pots are delicious. <laughs> the ghost train. Hey, we played a game about a ghost train like two streams ago. Next stop, apiary. Is it going to be filled with monkeys? Is it going to be filled with monkeys? Oh! Jesus Christ. I don't know why that scared me so much. I live in a world where this train was not filled with horrific creatures. Oh! Oh, okay. Next stop, Moon Castle. Oh. What are these grooving mechs down here? Can I talk to them? I don't think I can go down there. I think they're just sed dressing. Ratchet, I have traveled all this way to kill you. Can't this wait a minute? Next up, Tald. The passengers disembark sudden some. Sudden loathsome. Transport weary. Ah. Uh. Hamperton's eyes are glassy. He does not hear my plea. Are we like experiencing losing a friend? Hello. Last stop, Beach Town. Ooh. We established that knives can only communicate through the word cut. That knife moved towards you while saying the one word it could, and you immediately cut it down. For all you know, it could have been trying to warn you or help you. Could have been. Could have definitely been. I'm so sorry, knife. Maybe in New Game Plus I'll get knife percent. Well, here we are. Wow. Well, let's explore these homes, I guess. Uh, wait, this field is a thing? You can't get through without the axe! Uh, hmm. Ball, come down from there. No! <laughs> it's, it's sentient and pissed. Dying Apple. I can see your outfit that you- I can see by your outfit that you are a cowboy. Why is he dying? Oh, I don't think I was supposed to get up here. This guy won't talk to me.
Oh my god, how deep is this, like, forest dungeon? Ooh, I don't know what this is. Wait, what? There's, like, things around here. These fountains are filled up with blood. I see. The state of Blade civil rights is truly appalling to be cut down in the streets just for saying cut. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, we're playing Magic Wand. It is a game. Um, it is the game where you play to win, question mark, exclamation point. Welcome. Uh, I am this Plague Doctor Cowboy. I have a rapier, I think. And we're just exploring the world. Those fountains were filled with blood. I'm pretty spooked, not gonna lie. This is basically a psychological horror. Magic Wand is really one of the games of all time. Honestly, I couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, bizarre. I can't fucking believe. I'm popping into areas, and I'm deciphering the vomit that I'm seeing, and going, oh, of course this is this. What? That's a tent, that's a table of wares? Like, what else could this be? Maybe a circus or a wedding? I'm block zero. I'm looking for the magic block. Oh, that explains the very large amount of strange blocks you have here. I'm cramb pot. Step inside my home. Ragit castle pokey is under protection of the wind orb. You must smash it to undo the spell. This is a really nice office for a crab. <laughs> All right. Someone's going to have to remind me. We have to smash a wind orb in cra in a castle? Hold on. Castle Pokey is under the protection of the wind orb. Okay, so we gotta find the wind orb. I, I guess? This is a really nice office for a crab. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, there's an airship traveling through the sky. Oh, there's like hot air balloons too. That's really cute. There's like ruins up here that I want to take a peek at. I don't think I can go into them. No. None of these structures are enterable. Uh, alright. Did I go into here? Was this the train station that I exited? No. That was. So these are all new areas over here. You are not enterable. Wow! That's fucked. Technically, I ate food today, and I could think that can, that counts as entering me. I'm Scorpion Vader. We're searching for a key to the, into the underground wastelands. Oh. Hopefully I can help. Wahaha! <laughs> Come back here! Let's visit the cemetery! Uh... No. What if I say no? Also untrue. <laughs> Alright, fine. Oh shit, is it is that my favorite fucking character? Turnip? Or wait, was it Radish? Veggie Miner. This is Veggie Miner Castle. You can't come in. Only joking. Well, I'm coming in. He was only joking. I found a ghost in my cupboard, so I closed the door again. Only joking. I thought this was lava. Come back later when we've written more jokes. <laughs> Alright, uh, I will write that down. Revisit Veggie Miner Castle later. <laughs> what is your exit but an entrance? I don't know how I feel about all of these things that all of you are saying. <laughs> I feel a little strange and impure. Alright, what's over here? Oh, eggs? No, these aren't eggs. What are these? These look like eggs. Oh, it's like a Groovin army. What's going on? Amridge troops admiring capsules. Oh. Oh, a capsule machine. Well, hello. 
Yeah, yeah, hey, we're getting a group together. All of us are going to go line up to attack the moon. Yeah, yeah. I know, wait, we saw the moon. It was like, weirdly low. I'm gonna get a capsule. Bug Knight. Misguided spirit of true doom wanders around capriciously making friends. It does not know its own evil heart. That's weirdly sad. Uh, well, all right. They look like lemon-lime hybrids. They do. You're right. They really do. Oh, God. All right, well, give me another capsule. Veggie Miner! What are they digging? What are they digging? Veggie Miner's digging in its house. Glenda, a shady character who lives in the dark. Dire Stone. Stone turned evil after thousands of years, throws itself at travelers, then acts like it was someone else. Oh my god. Sandcastle. Crab's old house that came alive. It feeds upon grandiose ambition. Streamer help, mad guinea pig in the, on the loose. Black cat. Cat that steals money for some reason. It is curious and has opinions about everything. Damn. Sounds like every kind of cat. Flannel. Comes with sensors to detect more flannel. Yearns to form a big heap somewhere. Okay. Linda. With her metal knife, Linda's able to scale any height. But what will she find on top? Honestly, this is just great. I need more money to grab more thingies, though. I'm telling Hi that you're slandering cats. Hi knows my position. Garn, get your environments out of me, seed barrelet. All properties is theft. What is happening over here? Oh yeah, they're, they're attacking the moon. <gasps> no, I got another one. I can go get another capsule. Getting all the capsules is the true end game, I think. Princess Pup. The dog that's learned to fly. Pea Pup does not know the difference between right and wrong. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, we haven't gone to this one yet. Oh, it's Moe's, the prequel to Moe's 2. Ooh, what is this place? Is it a garbage can? Oh, well, it's not interactable with. This is like a, I don't know what this is supposed to look like. Kind of looks like a dumpy Minecraft castle. Well, I can go into this building over here, I think. Yeah. Is that all that's around here? I guess so. Fortune teller. Okay. I am now very interested. I feel like I should not have done that. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna do my damnedest to navigate this, but I am not... I don't have a lot to work on here. Welcome to the future. It sucks here. Hey, ya. Uh, my name is Wendy. I'm a famous magician. Would you like to see a trick? Watch me make you disappear. Hello. Oh, you are an enemy, clearly. Oh, I can't do anything about this. Okay, okay. Oh, hurry, hold on, hold on. I got this. There's a thing up there. I need to smash it. You can see that I have nothing up my sleeves. Okay, all right. Everything's fine. Is there another one up here? Uh. Well, I broke that. I'm guessing that I had to do that. the hands? Oh, there's one inside. Drink time and stretch time. Now is not the time. I'll do that after this thing that's happening. Okay, that's... Oh, wait, what are you? Oh, that gave me health. That gave me a lot of health, in fact. Pay attention to the windy behind the curtain. I'm... Hey, Ratchet, what are you doing here? Don't they know we're already late for the airship? Zound, says Hamperdan. I was just committing homicide upon this young person. <laughs> beep beep, make your way for airship. Ouch! Haha! <laughs> Excuse me, I thought you were someone else. What the fuck is happening? Rumbug Lion owns the mysterious mine. What kind of hell future have I inflicted? Beach Town, non square. Thou standeth in Night Town. Oh god, okay. Rubber ball. Don't talk to me. I'm earth destroying. Wonder if that was the wind orb. I think so, considering the magician was called Windy. That's that that's kind of where I was what I was concluding as well. That being said, I don't think anything in this game means anything, so who knows? Oh well. Did not mean to do that. Try to talk to this guy. Hanging out the washers. Oh my god, it's a gene that washes washer. Okay. Tell... I'll tell thine fortune. Bah! You're dead. I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna keep moving around. Blow moon, thou keep shining alone. Yun till maybe is gone. Yun till love art alone. Okay. Hey, I have yet money I've been owing thou. What? Three dollars? With whirly bird aloft and being christened for the esteemed Meldolio, taketh flight, and sails forthwith in ye westerly direction. Ye sailors, being jolly, cut buckles with aplomb, and gaze in rumination at holy moon, which now glints purple beyond rising ye shapes of fog cloud. Okay. I'm free! I'm free! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, we have uh, we have round objects now. Wait, I'm not a cloud. My name is Radigit. Hmm. 
but I don't want to be Radigent. Welcome to Fantasyland. Oh no. Wait, that's Princess Pop. I know who that is. She doesn't know right from wrong. Die and I fell. Oh jeez. It's very hard to get up here. Uh okay. My name is Princess Pop. It hath been several years since I visited your dimension, but I'm always waiting for in an hour of need. Huh. Another monk. Oh, wait, I already talked to this monk. There's some creatures over here. I knew that I would meet my fate somewhere in the clouds above. Those that I fought, I did not hate. Those I did guard, I did not love. Huh. Garn, again, strike at me now, thou villain. I'll be honest, I'm having a hard time following what's going on, so I'm just being absurd. I mean, you're not... I'm pretty sure this game is just absurd in general. An ant. Ah! Ka, ha ha, a non-surface knight. Square, were thou too trapped in these alien lands? Stay with me. Oh, us earthlings better stick together. Ka, ka! What's oh, a crow. Well, I guess I'll go this way. There's a clam. I'm not like everybody else. Damn. Mood. Jeez, clam. Not gonna be like that. Uh. Well, let's try to find on exit. Here we go. Water Templar, have you talked to the Bubble Sage? She's very wise. Uh, no, I'll give that a shot. Is this the Bubble Sage? This Octorok looking motherfucker? Bubbles. Well, alright. I honestly feel a little bit better. Hoy, Hamperdan, I feel rejuvenated. Watch this. Ouch! Whoops. Ye are in here is perhaps 25% sugar. Oh, the air in here. Anyway. We would request a favor of thee upon thy next trip into the world. A uh, minor matter. A certain trifle has been lost. A colored bauble of sentimental import, which we would have returned. Just if thou seest it. Just if thou seest it. Just if thou comest across a magic wand. If you see my sister, say hello. Sure. All right. So we got to find a magic wand now. But I don't know how to get back into the non-drug dimension. I don't think I've talked to that person. I need to talk to them. Which might be very hard to do considering they're up on this Minecraft structure. Hello. Oh, you are but a minor servant, but we appreciate your input. Oh, thanks. I do love being appreciated. I talk to you. I'm from Ye Cloud Force. We need someone to drink cherry soda, pick up capsule figurines, and wander around all day with exuberant compensation. Uh, I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I've already been doing that. Ooh. Hello. Schooner. Arr, it is hard to fight the cloud keys in the crates. <laughs> turnip. Veggie miner. What a turnip for the books. Only joking. I don't get that joke. Sorry, don't get it. Orb, orb, sky mall. Orbs purloined. Three kings. Uh, apologies, sir. I, in fact, possess three aces. Best two of three. Some days, I don't think that I'll ever get the orbs. Element 
elemental crystals. Five for ten bucks. I don't have ten bucks. Mag relic. Warning, unstable. Five hundred dollars. I don't think I'll ever get that many. Do I need to start saving up money? <laughs> With these ships, we drop the pots around. Oh. That's where they all come from. Hello. Take this skill sphere, it's useful. No pockets. No pockets. Okay, I gotta talk to like Groovin Groovin Mega Man boss over here. Hello. Oi, what a balloon. Balloonst. Yeah, yes, it is good, is it? Found it in a haunted castle, you know. You found this balloon in a haunted castle. Can I cut your pots? Because I'm an evil, evil person. I've been so close to accidentally kicking clicking stop streaming because this isn't locking my mouse into the uh the window. <laughs> like you put almost like fucking with stuff on the other monitor. Oh, you know what would actually help? Hold on. I'm glad that I still have this somewhere. Yeah, alright, let's do this. Okay. Congratulations, I now have primary lock armed. So, there's a lot of snakes. Free! Tuh, my chicky eggs all hatched on the road. <laughs> Oh. I see. This definitely doesn't feel like a, like I'm supposed to be playing this. Like, I feel like my brain is melting the more that I play this. And I know, I, that's probably the, the thing that they wanted. Probably wanted a truly incomprehensible experience. Hello. Warning! Site under construction! Hello. Quiet! I'm working. Okay. I'll leave you to it. Since he has no pockets, I guess Radish just walks around with a fistful of coins. That does make a good point. Or, yeah, that, that, that is a good point. Shh. I'm a reporter investigating secret places in the Cloud Kingdom. Is, is this one? Is this hole? No. This cube? Hello. Yeah, we're well, not supposed to let you in, but I'm too shy to stop you. Oh. Oof, who knew building a dream could be so laborious? I have five coin exactly. Hold up. What? How'd you get in here? Do they change the shifts again? That does it. I'm on strike. <laughs> Didn't take a lot. Oh. Oh, those are enemies, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with these guys. Oh. Oh, God. Wish I could open these. Bulldog gives us a pot for each intruder we repel. No, we don't know what the what's with the pots either. None of us like pots. Oh. Well, in that case. I also noticed this. That feels good. Glad that an orb started all of this and an orb will end all of it. We're utilizing magic stuff to build a magic ray. Why? Uh well. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> good! Thou hast quashed my research rivals. Now, it's Crabpot who has the magic balls. I win. <laughs> this room gives me the willies. Oh, hey, it's you again. Huh? I don't know thee. 
Ah, perhaps I once attended PotCon 88. I was in like a nightmare dimension, wasn't I? When I put these fragments together, I feel a pang of unreasonable desire. What? Why am I still doing it? Uh... I like this texture right here a lot. I don't know why. If thou searchest, you'll find a mouse in your works. What? Thou's never heard of his completely real and popular commonplace expression? No. Sorry, I don't really follow mouse poets. I am in space, I think. Oh, I'm definitely in space because gravity is super light. Wendy's super poopers have claimed the northern sea. Now moving west, pillaging in her path. As many strange objects and curious reliquaries as could be imagined, her goal, the fantasy zone, which willed... which to cast heaven. I see. Hold on. There we go. That's a good... Hold on. Almost? I don't know what what's the best angle for like the the wallpaper. Uh, put you right there. Oh, my mouse is gonna wiggle a little bit no matter what. There we go. Very good wallpaper right there. Okay. You look like a wizard. Or someone who appreciates comfort. Hurry! Already the four crystals have been broken! At dismay urging of Bomogi, who covets our world, and surely shall surely prevail unless stoutly resisted. With that beacon of courage, the magic wand which we must seize before the dreadful Hamperdin can strike. Uh I thought we were hanging around with Clyde. Clyde hath been possessed by a great evil. And he also stole my wallet, corrupted by the wicked Prince Fabrizio. The pair now fa 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 fa. Hi. Oh. I can't talk to any of you. You're all really cool looking though. Wait a minute, I know you. I think I'm supposed to talk to you? Wait, no, the world is made from your face. Zzz. Fa 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 power, fa 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 spirit or fa fa fa. Uh, this is emulating a conversation that's walking down this hall. Done in a very crude, strange way. Yes, this sounds nice. What? Listen, using the magic wand, Clyde intends to... Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, darkness negation. Power egg salad. I only hope we aren't too late. Oh, I can go no further, further, since tis a laundry night. Ratchet, strike boldly and have courage. I'm gonna stand over here and see what happens. Huh? Thank God I perfected my jumping slice. A long time ago. Help! Suck it in first gear! Hey, Ratchet, I got my robot back together. <laughs> Don't you think it's important to stay true to your instincts? Ow. What the hell is all this? Oh, God. Oh, something's spitting things at me, I think. Oh, those are spitting at me. I see. Cough, I've been shot. Curse thee. Okay. Well, I don't think I can kill those things. I can certainly try, but I'm just gonna go into here. I'm just gonna glitch out here. I got no soda. Uh, Y'all seem like enemies. Y'all are enemies. With a lot of health. Okay. Oh god, this is a cacophony. A real loud one at that.
Uh, uh, okay, hold on this way. Oh, knife! Oh god, the knife is destroying me! Oh god, I have like no health. God, these things do not take damage. Ah, that's better. Uh, uh. Oh god, okay. Don't hit me, I'm lost. Uh. Eep, they're getting closer. Who's getting closer? What's happening? I like your cape, I like thine too! Ouch! I forgot to remove ye tags. Ah! Which way to the dressing room? Straight ahead, you can't miss it! Curses, if only I had a silver rod! <laughs> Is this a play that I'm a part of that's just getting attacked? What's happening here? So excited, this is the big moment for the 666s. Do you think my hood looks okay? What is this game? I don't know anymore. I thought I knew. These are quality curtains. We got them from Curtain Temple. Uh, pick your number. One, two, and pick your color. Open the flap. What? Reply Hazy. I don't know why they're skeletons. Ah, thump my face, ow! Woohoo! Zang, don't try to mind cape. Okay, something's happening. I always wanted to use Atomic X. <laughs> I feel like the last fight is happening without me. What a hubbub. Oh, there's a thingy. Keep wandering. Coats. Get out of my house! Oh, alright, fuck. Sorry. I was just fighting for my death in a play with a bunch of, like, blue... people? Pots turned into chests. Bah! A wasted voyage. Hmm. What a mess. I guess I owe you castle now. I guess I own the, the castle now. Hey, thanks for finding my magic wand again. You can't turn... Turn thine back on this thing for nine seconds. So long. What? What? That's a big skull with a crown on it. Well, D did I, did I win? Is this toxic waste? No. That is a very big skull. Hold on, I wanna get on the big skull. I bet there's a way to climb on top of it. No, I guess not. Now there's two moons and they're green instead of the one moon that's purple. Well, guess I'm going here.
Captain Blood. Look! The flannel's asleep. <laughs> uh, well. Oh. Welcome to the Communitarian Skulldug Workers Cooperative Bar. I'll be thine waiter for the evening. My name is Big Doug. Make thyself at home, citizen. Why do I bother? What's wrong with me? Oh well, next time I'll get the magic wand. Was this just like an event? Was this a thing? Like... Wah ha ha, that was just as stupid as I thought. Next time I'll be the main character. Wah ha ha ha. What? Was it a play? Oh, tis I, Bell Shaver. What did I miss? Ah, uh, in truth, I wasn't paying much attention. Something, something, fantasy dreaming, wander color magic wand. Holy, is that a capsule machine? Verily, yet I believe I overheard the coin box is broken, and that currently it dispenses but for free. Well, hot dog, let's give it a try. <gasps> magic wand. Oh, it's a credits thing. That's cute. Thank you, Thee, for playing. Wow. Well, uh, that was Magic Wand. That was very short. Um, so in that case, we have a lot of other games that we can play. Uh, oh. <laughs> Okay, maybe play it again, but hi. I think that would only make it worse. Here's the thing. I... When I saw someone play it, they were a different character. So I don't know if there's, like, other endings or something. Uh, I'm gonna quickly open it and see if it changes because I'm playing it again. Okay, I can't load game. I'm just gonna hit start and see if it's slightly different. No, okay, 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 no. It's the same. All right, I don't know. That was really weird. Um, so Clyde was the guy summoning the dead. I guess I barely understand more than before. <laughs> All right, well, that was, uh, that was Magic Wand. Uh, you know what, hold on, I forgot. We have to do the thing. So let's crack open the... Uh, Let's crack open this. Uh, games to play. And I will show you all. Here we go. All right. Ta-da. And now chat's back. Yay, spreadsheet. Yep, exactly. Everyone's favorite part of the day. Okay. Spreadsheet hype. Uh, Magic Wand actually was already on here, and that was, uh, one of the things that I... I, I, hold on, wait, what, it was totally on here, right? Oh, yeah. Magic Wand, here it is. Uh, okay, so it is now completed. There we go. Um, so... Opinion, huh? It was definitely strange. Um, I feel like there's def there might be more to it. Cause I I've seen like other characters that you can play as, or maybe maybe that's something else entirely. Maybe there's just a trailer. I don't even know how to think about it. It was something that's truly like un. Like, how would I review a game like Magic Wand? It's just kind of there, doing its own thing. The music was good. The music could have very well been bad. The sound mixing was not the best, because the sound effects were really fucking loud, even after I turned the volume down. If I hadn't turned the volume down to as low as it was, that would have been, like, the loudest thing I've ever streamed, I think. Um. Yeah. Alright. So, the music was good. The art was charming despite being pixel vomit. 
the story was barely existent. I, I'm pretty sure the story was like a play or like a community event kind of thing. I, I could barely understand it. I feel like there was definitely something there. And I bet if I explored around a little bit more there, you know, there might've been something there. There were definitely a couple moments that got, that were like, whoa, this is a thing, right? The first boss fight against the like big head and hands was really surprising. When I broke the first orb and like the game just shifted immediately, that was a good moment. I think those are really powerful moments in the game. Like, cool. Um, I, I there was a there's a way I, I don't actually know how to do this. But there's a way to like basically lock all the text within here and then if you click on it it expands it. I don't want to look that up because I how would I even look that up? Wrapping, right? Oh there we go. Okay, hold up. There. That should fix a couple of these. There we go. Alright, perfect. I'm fine with it wrapping like that. I might fix it later. But very strange, few good moments, uh, very good music. Like, it might not be to everyone's taste, but I thought it was fantastic. And you know what? I think Dear Dian, that is a very, it's a very good way of putting it. So I'm looking up the game to see if I can find more info. Apparently you couldn't die. You just got into negative HP. What? That's so whack. So we did well then. <laughs> so we actually did better than expected. Um, I don't know why the additional note for line is not. Um, so that's a thing. I, I kind of want to relook that game up. But I think um, next we're actually going to play... Um, either Grapple Force Rena or Silver Grapple, which are two grappling based games. And I, I know that I picked like, wow, two grappling based games is like your backup game. Yeah, I mean, I have a few on here. I have like Warden Melody, The Undergrowth. I don't actually know what Goose is. Oh, Desktop Goose. Okay. We already played Windowsill. I think Hexkit is like a D&D software that I was using or a map building software. Um... I don't know what Secret Little Haven is. I'll have to look that up. But Knit was also another one that I could play that's equally as bizarre. So I think, I guess we could do a vote. There's a few people in chat. So I think the, the three that I'm going to, I think I'll vote between two. We'll, we'll either do Knit or uh, Silver Grapple. So let me, let me do that real quick. New poll. Question, uh, which game next? We can either do Knit, which is very, like, Knit is barely a game. I'm going to throw that out there. I don't know if anyone knows about Knit. It's like a super, super, super old school indie platformer. Like, very, very old, like... I don't actually know when it was made, like, cave, pre-Cave Story era of indie games. Like, this was when indie games were not a thing, when it came out. Uh, it was kind of unheard of to make a game just by yourself without being in a company, I think, back in the day. Like, there were bootleg games and stuff. But indie games were, like, not really a thing, just because of the amount of resources it took. And, okay, uh, Silver grapple so silver grapple is just a grappling game i don't know how much of it we're going to play but yeah and we could also i think i have like haunted ps1 stuff that i could try out um maybe because i kind of want to add a third possible thing here i don't know what this one is oh this is bloodborne ps1 right i did download bloodborne ps1 maybe we could just do that tonight <laughs> Just, just fuck it. I'll put that as the as the other one. Bloodborne PS One. All right. So the, here are the three options. Yeah, haunted PS One games. So 
Haunted PS1 is a group of people that make low poly actually you know what bloodborne ps1 deserves its own stream we'll do a haunted ps1 game as the uh third option it's a group that makes horror games that are deliberately in the style of like first gen 3d graphics so playstation 1 and 64 i have three of them here i don't know what these are this one is a demo disc which means it's like a bunch of little ones and watershed i don't remember bleak shore i also don't remember i think i downloaded all of these with the intention to play them around halloween and i never got to them so we're gonna do this here we go so y'all can vote either silver grapple oh god <laughs> did not mean to fucking click on that really glad that nothing happened <laughs> i'm gonna turn this off real quick to turn that back on so knit is a very old weird indie game uh one of the haunted ps1 games i'll just pick one that looks interesting and we'll play it and uh the silver force or sorry silver grapple uh, I mean, you know, it's it's just a, a fast-paced platformer game, kind of the opposite of what we were playing. But they're all bundle games. Uh, the PS1 games, not so much, but they kind of fall into the same category in that they're all going to be short. So everyone get your votes in, and uh, we'll play one of them. Which sounds, you know what, sounds pretty fun. Honestly, I've been meaning to play the haunted PS1 games. But I could also just make that a night where I just play a fuck ton of them because I, I have a bunch of them saved. All right. Knit. Ben Drowned. It, I, they're not quite at that level. So let's see. Did Knit win here? Ah, Knit won. Okay. So here we go. We're going to play Knit. This one is very interesting. I've actually played this game before a very, very long time ago. Um... And I, pl I booted it up a couple nights ago just to see if it worked. Because it's, it's a very old game. Um, I guess let's give it a shot, huh? Alright, I'm going to delete that poll. Close this. And let's... Um, some more... An old indie... Classic? Like old school Flash games? Older. Honestly, older. So here's the thing about Knit, right? Knit is really fucking old. Um, like really, really old. I, I don't actually know how old this game is. 2007. There you go. That's how old Knit is. It says it right fucking there. <laughs> uh, I played this game, I think. God, when did I? I played this in like 2013. And I just, I, I think I heard someone like offhanded mention it. And I was like, what the fuck is knit? And I tried to look it up and I kept on Googling it. And I was spelling it wrong because it's spelled like this, K-N-Y-T-T. -T. So yeah, also, yeah. It's going to be a bit of a crusty one, folks. Hold on. Why is it like that? It's like fucking... Hold on. <laughs> That's weird. Game capture. Whoa. Hello? This one might be a rough one to actually play. Uh, okay, well... Oh, I know what the problem with this one fucking is. Okay, so the problem with Knit is, like, in order to play it full screen, it actually, like, locks... Oh my god, alright, hold on. This is gonna be a really hard one to stream. I apologize in advance for this. We're gonna have to see how this one actually looks okay this seems doable and I forgot hitting escape does that hold on that is not the button I wanted to hit ignore that <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna actually quickly turn this off. Sound options, the game. Oh yeah. We're playing sound options tonight. I don't know if y'all are ready for this fucking whack thing. Let me go in here. And get knit to go through my app thing. Okay. Because now I can edit edit this in here. At least I thought I could. No. Uh -oh. Oh, there we go. Ah! Oh god. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, that should be fine. If it's a little loud, I guess just let me know. This game is pretty quiet. If I remember correctly. Like, this is the loudest part of the game. This seems okay. This seems like my voice is significantly louder. Let me know. Okay, let me close all this out. Game, full screen. Okay. Okay. We are in the game. To move, use left and right arrow keys to jump, press S. But yeah, this is a old, old, old game. It actually still controls pretty well, if I remember correctly. Like, the character just kind of responds well. Up. Oh yeah, you can climb. I forgot. I had an idea in college for a game that was just Labyrinth in the form of a drop-down menu. The professor called it Lazy. Labyrinth in the form... Oh, a Labyrinth in the form of a drop-down menu. The professor called it Lazy. That doesn't sound lazy. When you hold the A key, you will see the direction of the nearest item which you need to pick up. There we go. Sorry, I'm kind of grooving a bit. I forgot this song was like a banger. Good luck. Okay. Um. There we go. I literally just made sure that it worked last night, so... I don't think this was Flash. I think this was pre-Flash. was Flash. I have no idea. Flash was very prominent. This this does have some Flash vibes to it. It looks a little too smooth to be Flash. Because Flash was really rough in 2007. Maybe this is Flash. Maybe we just used a really bad Flash. So yeah, that's the story. And now we go. Uh, most of the game is going to be ambience, so get ready for that. Flash had loading issues that made games hell. Yep, 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 yep. Let me know if the game is too quiet, and I can turn it back up. But I remember this game... Uh, I remember volume not being a problem, but I played it super far back in the day. God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Oh, I actually had that one. Hey! <laughs> this is very difficult. This game is never frustrating, it's just kind of hard. There we go. Right. Ah, oh, I remember the PETA games. Yeah, those were all real bad. Those were all real stinky. Super Tofu Boy. 
shit like that. The Pokemon Black and Blue Edition. Um, I don't know if I can make this jump. I can. Oh, hello. This game is kind of just a visual treat more than anything. And I say that in saying that this is the kind of visual treat you should be expecting. It's just kind of here. Oh, I don't actually remember this. Wait, can I? No, can't go up there. I think I have to return to the ship, if I remember correctly. I, uh, man, the PETA Flash games were a special kind of terrible. He made Super Meat Boy, made Tofu Boy in the full release. He was a useless character, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he was super jank. So do I return these one at a time, or do I just go get more? I think I just go get more. Okay. He was, um... He couldn't jump. He could, like, barely wall slide. I don't know. It was a lot of stuff. So this is this telling me to go down? I don't actually know if I can go... Down, like, a pit? I think I might be able to, but I don't want to die. Ah, I can. Okay. I think water is death, though. Hello. Little guy. I might turn the game volume back up. This seems very quiet. Hold on. Holy shit. Okay. I'm moving you to this screen. Wow. That was real bad. I opened up. I opened up voice meter and it was fucking it was bigger than the thing. All right. Okay, there we go. Knit is now louder. That seems fine. I guess just that first thing was loud. I'm going to turn this up more. There we go. Now we can probably hear it. If it gets loud again, oh well. It's the it comes with the territory. Let's lock this. Okay. I'm actually curious where this goes. Oh, just up here. Okay. I forgot that makes a noise. Oh. Well, this is a whole lot of nothing. Super Meat Boy was one of those games that I missed out on. I never, ever, ever played through Super Meat Boy. And, uh, I don't think I will. I, it just seems like a little too frustrating for me. I think I'll play Celeste and that'll be like the one frustrating plat. Like I played I played V six times. So, you know. That's another one that's pretty hard. Celeste is supposed to be hard, and I feel like I have to play it to complete the comp yeah, com yeah, complete the joke. Um I'm trying to think of other ones. Okay. I played a little bit, but I don't have good platforming skills, so I never got it this far. Complete the joke? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how... <laughs> oh god, I forgot. This is probably going to have to happen several times. I, I don't know how caught up you are on the... Uh, the goings-on of the stream. <laughs> but, uh, there was going to be a thing I was going to do. Oh god, uh, maybe this isn't the best time to talk about this. Don't worry about it, you know? Uh... <laughs> god, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Lava Town. Also, I've heard it's very good. Oh, I can't actually go up there, I don't think. Guess let's just go back this way. Is this a safe drop? Yes. Wait, did I come up through here? No, I didn't. Okay. 
There is something over here. Oh. Okay. I can guarantee that lava is going to kill me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wait, they're fishing in the lava? I just realized that. Oh, no, they're roasting a hot dog. Never mind. Roasting a hot dog. Started that one, too, but didn't get far. That one seemed to give you reason to go forward, though. Is that Mario and Luigi? Oh, <laughs> I guess. Mario and Luigi is like lemmings. Hello. What a strange little guy. This looks like larva. Or, sorry, acid. But that's a hazard. Looks like it's over this way, so let's go check it out. Alright, avoid that thing. I don't know why that scared me. Oh god. Alright, you, Mr. Snakeman. Question, will he kill me if I touch him? Yes, okay. So, answer, do not touch him. I was wondering if I could like, do a sneaky jump over him. Be a sneaky little Charlie. Okay, we're fine. We're living. We're living! You can't stop me. I am indeed living. Alright. What is this way? At least the save points are very, very close to each other. There's like no frustration in this game. It's also incredibly short, so... What the hell is that thing? I don't like it. I do not like this creature. I do not like it, Sam. I am. <laughs> I see. Well, bit of a bit of a waste of my time. Except I can go here. Uh huh. Okay. There is something up here. Crap! This game actually hurts my fingers because you're constantly holding like up. Uh. All right, music, and it's loud. Very short musical interludes. Uh, let's get this. Let's actually check out what's to the right first. Hey. Okay. Ah. Let's check out what's what's to the left then. <laughs> oh well. What's up here? Oh, a hell of a thing apparently. Huh. I think we actually saw that person fishing earlier. Will the blob swim into the hook? They will not. I don't believe they will. Nah. This game kind of reminds me of Dig or Die, which is a game that I did not play as much as I wanted to, because it was just kind of slightly too frustrating. The systems were just kind of like not done. I believe this game has an, uh, an official sequel as well called like Knit Underground. And I have not played that. Oh. Wonder if I can actually go through that bridge. Ooh. Little, like, underground homes. 
Well, regardless of whether or not I can go on top of the bridge, I think I can go right here. There's something like right above here. I kind of want to explore the underground first. Hold on. Oh. Well, never mind then. Ah, okay. Mountain climbing, I see. Can I hold on? I don't I doubt this is possible. How much like vertical turnaround do I have? No, there's no way. Okay. Oh, I'm back here. That's not really what I wanted. That's a rather that's rather a shame. Let's go back up. We can just go like here and then go across and go up. And then I bet if we go right we can find something. I really do not remember the layout of this game. I think I'd actually had to look up a guide the first time I played it. Because it was just it was really big. It was surprisingly large. I should have actually just died in like a hazard and warped back. Alas, we will just walk. We will do as we did before, which is walk to the right. Here we go. Did I climb up here, actually? Hold on. Ah, I cannot. Okay, well, we're close. The bridge is just to the left, so we can just go there. I don't know if climbing up is faster than hopping up, but I do like hopping. Feels feels slightly faster. Ah, uh, the bridge. I bet that lizard's hostile on the end of the bridge. Nope. Maybe not. We're fine now. Ah, here's where the fishing rod came from. I'm gonna go on these clouds first. Which might be a bad idea, but I feel like it. I have a mighty need to go cloud surfing! There it is. It's not even hostile. That is a tragic loss of progress, though. I don't know if the water can kill me. I don't want to find out. You know what? I'm going to find out. It can indeed kill you. Okay, we now know that the water just kills you. We are not like this lady with the pink hair. We're just screwed. We're just freaking dead. Oops, nope, not this way. Okay. Alright. Ah, oh, there we go. I had to stretch my fingies. Whoop. Whoop. There were... Man, talking about old Flash games really reminded me of quite a few that I used to play a ton. Like, I feel like everyone played... Uh, it was like Dream of Flight or something, the one where you're a penguin. You need to launch yourself as far as you possibly can to the left, and you get upgrades like a hang glider and like a firework to propel you forward. <laughs> but, uh... Man... Learn to fly, that's it, not dream of flight. 
Learn to fly. I'm trying to think of the ones that I played the most. I played a lot of Boxhead. Boxhead was fun. If any of you remember Boxhead, that was like a top-down, like, horde shooter-esque game. I think it had co-op, too. That was, like, the reason I, I played it a lot, because you could just boot it up with a friend. Uh, what else? There were so many, like, really bad ones, too. Fancy Pants Adventure, that was another classic that I played. Uh, there was, like, a tire game. You were, like, a tire with a rope, and you could swing around. I don't know if anyone remembers that one. I do not know what it's called. That one's a... Henry Stickman. I don't think I ever played Henry Stickman. Oh yeah, this is this is an easier jump. Okay. I cannot reach that. Let's go into the volcano then. Oh, the, okay. The Henry Stickman was like a meme kind of recently with the distraction dance. I never actually touched those. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm, de I'm like plumbing the depths of my brain, because I played a lot. I played a lot of tower defense games, I played a lot of like... Oh god, what did I play? Um... Ugh, I just stretched, sorry. Uh, oh jeez, okay, what were there? I'm just gonna be like sitting here thinking about what Flash games I actually played. And not, oh, hold on, is there anything up here? Ah, right. The thing is there were a lot of really bad ones that I remember playing. There were a lot of, like, just kind of schlocky nothing ones. There was, like, a bunch of Super Mario ones that were just, like, oh, like, super violent Mario. He has a big fist, and he'll punch Koopas, and they'll explode with blood. That was, like, 90% of Flash games. Nothing's here. A lot of racing games, yeah, actually. I, I didn't even think about the racing games, damn. Hold on, I better gotta do this. Yep. This is a thing. Super Shotgun Mario, yeah, shit like that. Just absolute dreck. And we played them, because, like, what else were we gonna do in school? Water Girl and Fire Boy on Cool Math Games. Tower Defense on Cool Math Games for kids. Crazy Monkey Games. Oh, God. What were all the fucking... F I just... They were all, like, nothing. That's, like, balloons. Everyone played balloons. Everyone played balloons, Tower Defense. Yeah, Water Girl and Fire Girl was, Fire Boy was fun because it was like specifically a platformer that you have to play co-op. Huh. Don't know how to get over there. Can I go into this guy's home? By chance? No. Ah, I see. Oh, I see. So I glow whenever there's a hostile thing on the map. Oh, jeez. Okay. I like these glow flowers a lot, actually. I should have grabbed batteries today. 
I, I slept super, super late today, and I was supposed to go out and get batteries. That's why the stream was like a few minutes late, because I was, I was still eating dinner. That one where you were a guy, like, running straight ahead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There were a lot of those. Uh, there's, there was Run... There was, there was, it was just called Run. There was one that was called Run 2. Hold on. Is this a thing? Hmm. Run 3, run 4, yep. Run 18. That was the uh, porn parody of run... <laughs> That's awful, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, why? Wait, why am I here? Log 18. I'm actually. That is one thing that I'm worried about in the future. If people are going to think that Log 18 is like a not safe for work reference. Because it's not. It's. It's just a very weird coincidence. I looked up a speedrun for that game last night. Three minutes three minutes long for a speedrun of All Who Would Cry Beware. Uh, I can probably speedrun that game for the subathon. I think I will. Creature. <laughs> okay. This is just a spooky hole that we live in. Okay. Huh? Well, how the fuck do I get that? This is doable. Right, this has got to be doable. There we go. Very difficult. Oh god, this is actually rough. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh. Okay. Is this gonna bring me back to where I was? Am I dumb? Am I stupid? Oh. Oh. What a thing. What a ridiculous trial. Hold up. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, that was a... That was a part. Did not know that. Well, there's another one down here. The, set, the MP3 that starts every single time that you touch the cart. Okay. But yeah, for those of you who are new here, Log18 is not a not safe for work reference. It is just... Yeah, man. Uh, uh, I need to release a video about Log18. I actually have all the footage recorded of, like, us discovering that it existed and wasn't a fucking brain poison, specifically for me. Uh, hold up. I'm gonna go up here first. I'm just thinking about old Flash games now. There were a lot of racing games that were really bad, the more I think about it. Because they were, I think they were just pretty easy to make. What is that creature? Oh. Well, how howdy. Uh, I'm gonna guess those funny rocks hurt you. So I will not touch them. What's down here? Dubstep is down here.
Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to see what I have. Okay, it's Q. Wow, I don't really have that many yet. Also, I can't go here. Cannot go this way. Okay. Am I stuck down here? No way. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say, there, there's no way I'm stuck down here. I think the rest of the games I know are too obscure. Well. I mean... Try, oh. There's just... I played so many, and it's like... It's kind of amazing how... I can't remember a single one, despite playing potentially hundreds and hundreds of these games. It's just, I played them all when I was... Okay, actually, here's some. There are two that I remember uh, really, really fondly. One of them was something called Snowbell. Um, I doubt the game still exists, but it was a game where you're a rabbit jumping on, I think, bells. Uh, and you, you have to hop on them to just go up. And it just plays a classical music song, like, the whole time. And the game was just really chill. Um, I bet it's not going to hold up well due to audio compression. But it was very relaxing. Another one, I don't remember the name. You were playing as a fox. And you... There was a part of the game... What, you could sit at a shrine, and if you sat there for three real-life minutes, you got the ability to glide or double jump or something. Because there was like a meditation shrine, and you just had to sit there. It, maybe it wasn't that long. It was a long time. I think it was a whole minute. And there were, ugh, it was such a weird game. I remember talking to someone about it. I feel like a lot of other people know that game. No, it, it was another platform that was really popular. I played a lot of weird platformers. Never played Cave Story. Actually, that's a lie. I played a little bit of Cave Story. And, uh, man. Was not a fan. And I know that's, like, literally the worst shit I could say in my entire life. Oh. Am I fucked? I think I'm fucked. I can actually hold on. This is what I get for not liking Cave Story. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, Cave Store did not handle very well when I played it. And it was it was like, man, I'm going to have a very hard time enjoying this game and the rest of the game is going to have these like control issues that I'm currently experiencing. I might give that one another shot, though, because I think I just had a bad setup at the time. But it, I remember being very slippery. Like, b b badly slippery, and I don't know why... Apparently this crab thing is hostile. That is indeed a creature. A devious little creature. A lot of being in the clouds in this game. A lot of sky action. Oh. All of the, like, plants look really tasty in this game. I don't want to alert anyone, but I kind of want to eat everything that I've seen. I do not remember Cactus McCoy. I remember Boxhead, I remember Fancy Pants, I remember Toss the Turtle. Remember the really popular Newgrounds ones that were only popular because they were incredibly violent. <laughs> There's a lot of them that I remember that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> For very obvious reasons. Um, they were not quite... Uh... Not quite appropriate in mixed company to talk about. We'll just we'll just say that. <laughs> God, there were so fucking many of them. 
Oh, I can't go that way apparently. That's whack. Maybe that's maybe that's an area at the end of a ch uh, platform challenge they spit you out. Oh yeah, it is. All right. bad for me. Yeah, that looks real bad for me. I guess I won't touch that. Okay. Like I said, I'm not gonna touch that. Come on. There we go. Monkey! Desert monkey. Loving these drums. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Animated for versus animation. Those were a lot of fun. He's still making stuff to this day. He's still making a lot of stuff, and his animation's getting a lot better too. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> There were a lot of old, like, flash animations that I remember watching that are super hard to find now. Hmm. I feel like I'm just getting more and more lost. Hold up, I'm gonna quickly go back to the right and make sure I didn't miss something on that, like, edge over there. That I just kind of jumped past. Okay, there is something over here. I probably totally just missed it, too. Tetris. I'm trying to think of other... Oh, God. It's been so long. Like, literally years and years of brain rot has set in for me to try to remember any of this. To the right, you say. To pieces, you say. Very good. Well, let's go try to get this one, huh? I'm guessing these little electrified shards of, like, multicolored glass are probably not good for me. Just gonna... gonna go out on a... on a big limb. Gonna go in on a giant arm. Ha! I've been tricked. I've been fucking pranked, bro. What the hell? Alright, hold up. Can't even tell. I don't think I should be approaching from this angle. However, wait, is this safe? It is. Hmm. Nah, that's not doable. Get. Get. I want to be the guy. I never played that one. That one was a super, super frustrating one from what I heard. 
I remember I want to be the guy. I remember I remember seeing a lot of people play it back in the day and never touched it. The Impossible Game too. That was another one that I never touched. I mean, you see how not great I am at knit, so I, I don't think I would fare very well at those other ones. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Nothing I can do there. Nothing doing. A lot of creepypasta games, too. Those were all never very good. Someone would make a new creepypasta, and then everyone in the world would be like, Oh shit! What if Sonic killed Tails and then called himself God? Dude! I'm gonna nut! I fucking love that shit so much! Dude, what if in Pokemon Emerald? No, wait, that's not even... The, what if in Pokemon Red, there was a hand that grabbed your shoulder, and then there was a corpse that begged for death. That'd be fucked up, right? What if in... Hold on. What if... Hear me out. Was Cat Mario Flash? Cat Mario was definitely Flash. Cat Mario was... Could you beat Cat Mario? I don't remember Cat Mario being beatable. Cat Mario was stupid. <laughs> Dude, what if... Hold on. What if in Pokemon uh, Red... Lavender Town? Like the, like the place with the music that's a little creepy? What if it killed people in real life? <laughs> Fuck! I hit escape again. I'm gonna just do this again. There we go. Alright, I live. I die. Okay, um... Fuck. I don't think I can, like, hold on. I'm gonna die again. I feel like this is the proper way across here. This jump seems very, very, like, doable, but kind of just hard. I might be incorrect on this one. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, we're just gonna go this way real quick, see if this is, like, the way to go. If it is... Oh, wait, maybe this is totally the way to go. I don't know what this is. I don't. There's something about this that's like I'm doing this backwards. Yeah. All right. Hold up. I feel like I am doing this backwards. I feel like I do have to go this way. This seems very, very feasible. Fuck. I am God. I don't think I just don't think sometimes I wish I could see that that screen right there because I think that's the key to all my secrets what was the uh, good Sonic game that you remembered or could you not remember the name you just remember that there was one because I do that all the fucking time. Huh. Okay, that's that's not doable. That's really not doable. I don't... Ultimate Flash Sonic. Hmm. I think I'm stuck on this one, actually. 
Because, like, this jump looks like it should be made. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> Alright. Okay. Did not realize I had to do that. I apologize, everyone, for wasting all of your time. I'm so sorry for wasting every millisecond of your day. They call me the Time Waster. I gotta say, <laughs> when I'm in the kitchen, <laughs> fuck. Okay. When I'm in the kitchen seasoning my poultry, I always say fuck. I always say stirred, not basted. This is uh, one of the rougher parts of the game, I feel. I don't remember this one at all. I think I suppressed it. I mean, nothing in here is that but that bad. I, like... As funny as it is to see me fail at a game from... 15 years ago? 15 years ago. Um... This is not as bad as, a uh, fucking Path of Pain. Path of Pain was bad, but it Path of Pain was not as bad as everyone kept alluding it to be, which I feel like was a bit of a tease. I feel like I got fucking, like, blue-balled by Path of Pain, because it was supposed to be like, oh, it's so hard, you're never gonna beat Path of Pain. It is the fucking hardest thing that any gamer can ever do. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna come blood when you're done with the time that you're playing Path of Pain, you fucking idiot, and it's like, alright, let's go do it. And it was fine. Like, it was definitely a challenging part of the game. Wasn't that bad, though. I, I don't know what everyone was on about with Path of Pain. It was definitely difficult, don't get me wrong. Like, Hollow Knight in general was difficult. I had l more of a struggle in that part where the fucking... Uh, the shield guys showed up. That was more miserable. There's been a lot of things like that in games. We were like, oh, watch out, it's going to be real hard, and then I play it, and it's like, sure, this is indeed difficult, but it's either difficult in a way that's, like, very learnable and not frustrating, or it's difficult in a way that's like, cool, this is just stupid and I don't want to play it. Like, you're not you're not telling me that this is a good, or they're saying, like, oh, it's a really good challenge, like, you're, it's going to be so hard, but it's just, like, stupid. Like, it's, oh, this enemy is, like, this is hard because you just need to, like, overlevel the shit out of yourself in order to do it. It's not fun to fight it fair, because it doesn't obeyed by the game's rules. That was a problem that I had with, like, um, a lot of RPG bonus fights are like that. It's like, oh, it's so hard. It's like, it's hard because the enemy has inflated numbers and ignores gameplay mechanics, which is, I think, my least favorite part of JRPGs. I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here to fill time. I hope everyone's fine with that. Uh, boss enemies, especially bonus boss enemies in a lot of JRPGs, they like to just ignore gameplay mechanics. And I don't, like, I don't really know how to explain this super well, except I guess with, um, Dragon Quest. So Dragon Quest, right? Fun game. I like Dragon Quest. I'm a bit of a Dragon Quest fan. I've streamed Dragon Quest Eight on this stream, like, fucking three times and never beaten it once. Um, the problem with that game is there's a lot of status effects, and they're all kind of fun and, like, interesting. None of the enemies are really weak to any of them. Like, there's a couple enemies here and there that have, like, a specific one-use weakness. Like, this dragon is kind of weak to... Uh, this dragon is kind of weak to sleep. And so you can use sleep on it once in a fight, and then that's it. It's like, okay, like, I kind of get that. But then, like, bosses have this thing where they are immune to basically all status effects. Some of them will be, like, they can get stunned one time. Also, I did not want to go back down here. They can get stunned one time, or they can get put to sleep one time, or something like that, right? Oh, I didn't... Wait, hold on, I gotta go this way. But a lot of them have this thing, too, where it's like, if you try to buff yourself, they'll immediately cast a thing that, like, dissipates all of your buffs. And I get it. They don't want you stacking buffs and, like, one-shotting bosses. 
but I feel like there could have been a more interesting way to do it than just like remove all your buffs automatically. I don't know. JRPGs are a very, very interesting genre because they they're kind of limited to the way that the genre is constructed, which is true for a lot of them, but I feel like even more so for JRPGs. Hold up. There we go. Oh, well. Okay. So I'm missing... I actually know where that gear is. We saw it earlier. I just couldn't get to it. So that's interesting. Oh, can I not go? Because that's, that's just death to the right there. Guess I gotta go back this way. I'm sure there's other people that have, like, very similar pet peeves to certain game genres like I do. I kind of love hearing about people's genre pet peeves, or, like, game pet peeves. It just makes me realize that I'm not, like, that crazy. Hello? Are you the brick farmer? Do you farm the bricks? There's something below me? That's strange. What the fuck are you? Oh! Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That was- that jump scared me. I did not like that. Not a fan of the crab. Okay. I think that's everything that's over here. Like, genres we don't like are specific things about genres. I, I'd, uh, both is fine, honestly. I like hearing about both. Specific, specific things about genres is what I was alluding to more. Like, specific things in certain types of games that are like, I love this genre. Man, this one part about it can go get fucked, though. Like, I like multiplayer online, uh, fighting, like, shooter games. Boy, do I fucking hate how monetized they are nowadays. Like, it was bad, it's been bad for a long time. It's been real hard to play games online that are, like, multiplayer, because they're just monetized as shit, and I get why. Like, I understand why the devs gotta make money so they can push out more updates. It's just... It, it feels disgusting. I hate being advertised, too. I try to install, like, a bunch of ad blockers on, like, everything that I have because I'm just so tired of seeing ads. Like, I used to lie in bed and watch YouTube occasionally. The ads have gotten so bad recently that I just don't want to. I just... I would rather get up in the middle of the night, turn on my computer and, like, just watch the 20-minute video, or, like, 20-second video I wanted to watch, which takes a long time, then fucking sit through the three McDonald's ads that I have to watch. And what's worse is because my last name sounds, I believe, vaguely Spanish, I get a lot of advertisements in Spanish. So, not only am I getting ads for a name that I don't like in a language that I can't read I'm getting them fucking like constantly like each short YouTube video you get fucking like three ads like a minute long YouTube video you get two at the start and one at the end and you can't skip them anymore I don't speak Spanish from vocation not name I do live in Texas that does make sense I just figured because my like my uh one of my email accounts has my last name in it, which, fuck you, mom, for making me do that. My fucking business account is my fucking name that I don't like anymore, that I'm replacing. I'm fucking getting rid of my name, but that email address is already hooked up to so much shit that I can't change it. Like, sure, I could make a new email address. I have one for the stream, whenever I do, like, stream shit and donation shit, just so, like... 
People don't have all of my personal information if they donate. That kind of deal. But man, feels bad still. I get Spanish ads sometimes, but there's absolutely nothing to justify it. I don't know, maybe it's just getting more common. I mean, it is a very common language, to be fair. It's just like, I feel like if I set my user settings to English, I shouldn't get Spanish ads. Like, you're doing all this shit to farm my data, and yet you're not even getting the language that I speak correct? Fuck. Cancelled for not speaking a language. I do not perceive me. I do not speak. I didn't know there was something still down here. Oh, this is the gear. I remember this one. Huh. We know all about you. Thanks for the user data. Yep. Ugh. Oh. I can't wait till I till that name is just gone. I mean, the only sad thing is a lot of y'all already know me by Ethan. And that's just something I'm going to have to live with. It's not the worst, I guess, and it's not anyone's fault. It's cuz I acted on the internet. <sighs> Parents were at least internet illiterate enough to have a pseudonym for my first email account. That wasn't even my first email account. Uh fucking my old shitty fucking username was my first email account. Uh, sorry, thinking. My old shitty. Okay, so here's how it happened. This is a a story that I'm sure no one's interested in. Back in the day, I got harped on for not having an email address by my mom. She was like, "Please get a fucking email address. You need an email address." I didn't. I don't know why why she wanted me to get one so badly. This is when I was very young, by the way. Like like 10 very very young um, and I was like fine whatever I'll make an email address and I, I made one with this shitty username I'm sure very few people I don't think anyone knows it here actually there might be some old 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 people who've been like from door monster from a long time ago that remember my username I'm talking like fucking prehistoric like old like okay no I'm not gonna go this way I don't actually know how to get this but regardless I did that and I was like here's my email address she was like cool thank you for finally getting an email address I was like whatever fucking <sighs> then like I think the same fucking year she was like you need to change your email address it's very unprofessional it's like you were the one who wouldn't help me make mine. <laughs> Fucking, you wouldn't help me make mine. And now I get like yelled at every day for not having a serious, in air quotes, email address. It's like, fine, whatever. Here's my new email address. It's my last name, then my first name. Bam, have fucking fun. It's like changed a little bit so that I fucking won't get like doxxed. It's not going to save me. I need to get rid of that email address. <laughs> Because it's just my fucking name. <laughs> it, it was my name, rather. And she was like, good. I'm glad that you have that. It's like, literally anyone who knows me can find my email address now. And anyone who gets my email address knows my full name now. Which is just... Like, what the fuck? Like, that was such a bad idea. I hate it. I hate it so much. And now it's, like, hooked up to everything. And there's nothing I can do about it. But at least it's not slightly funny. At least it's not not good for business. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, all right, fine. Sure. Sure, pal. It's very funny, because I remember Kyle had a very similar experience. And I never, I don't really relate to Kyle for a lot of things. Him and I have had very, very different lives. And I'm glad that we can still be friends, but we haven't. We don't hang out that often. We need to. I need to hang out with Kyle a bit more. Um, yeah, it's not bad if only used professionally. I need to like, ugh, I need to make like another email address and like change everything. It's fine, but 
it's one of those things where I remember Kyle told a story once where he was in film college. This was back when he was in that like dumpy art school and he he himself has called it a shit art school. So probably didn't say it like that, but uh Oh. Do I jump into the radioactive cum? Yeah, right. No! Who would have known that the glowing goo would be my downfall? He was in his art school, and he was like... I don't know what he was doing. He was like working on something, and he handed a professor like a thing with his information because the professor needed it to send him stuff. And the professor said, You think you're ever going to get a job with an email like that? And Kyle was just so baffled by it. Because it just... It doesn't... It, like, okay. In a fucking real world... You apply for a job. Well, first of all, applying for jobs is already a nightmare. So this is probably already a broken metaphor. You apply for a job that you are very fucking qualified for. I don't think I can make these jumps. I don't think I can make these jumps at all. But I believe... That if I go left and down. You apply for a job that you're incredibly qualified for, and they're like, well, here's the thing. We could really use someone like you on our team. You have exactly the education that we're looking for. You have the background that we're looking for. You have experience. You're basically perfect. But your email address is just too funny. Like, we can't have people like that working here. Surely if it was, like, a problem, they'd be like, hey, can you make a work email? And then you're hired. It's like, yeah, fucking done. It takes me two minutes on Google. I just, I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. But then again, I'm not meant for business. I'm not built for it. Ah, <laughs> yes, applying to 100 jobs and hearing back from three that say that they don't want you. You guys hear back from jobs? I apply to 100 jobs and they all uh, tell me to go die in a hole. They don't actually tell me that. They don't tell me anything. <laughs> okay. I almost fell in the... the cum. Big booty titties at gmail.com <laughs> So, uh, you have the experience we're looking for. You have the, the career specs that we're looking for. And you appreciate the finer things in life. You're on the team, my friend. <laughs> That's really inappropriate. I apologize. Ah! Oh, the cum! I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get a job, real talk. I have such bad hireability. I don't know what it is. I mean, I do know what it is. I don't have a fucking college degree. I dropped out of college like twice because I just can't do it. Oh shit, the... Can y'all see this? No, you can't see that. Okay, good. No one can see the mouse. I'm gonna move it far away. I've applied to so many jobs and they all do not want me and I assume it is because of something I, I answer on like those shitty quizzes they give you or it's just because I don't have a full college degree. I have a lot of experience in a lot of fields. No college degree, though. I haven't spent enough money. Hello? Did I just, like, miss the object? You have to go to college to get a paper saying you learned something? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I deserve this internal hell that I live in. <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm going into art. Because, uh... I, uh... Man. I have experience in the field, and... People don't care what my background is, as long as I don't... As long as I'm not, like, a horrific, raging racist <laughs> on the internet. Which, thank God, I'm not, as it turns out. And, uh... I just draw the tits as big as they want them to be. There we go. That's my career path, I guess. <laughs> God. I don't think I'm gonna do not safer work art. I probably fucking should. I shouldn't say that I'm not gonna do that. Uh, there we go. Sure, let's give this a shot. I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just built different in the bad way. You know when people say that they're built different? Like, oh, sorry about all those people that died in that fire and built different? I'm like the opposite. Draw not safe for work for art for money. Can never draw anything else again. I can draw other things. I can easily draw other things. <laughs> I just try to draw, like, a, a microwave oven. I accidentally give the microwave oven wide hips and a cute face. It's like, fuck. This sucks. I can't draw anything else. Why did this happen to me? <laughs> God damn it, you fucked it up. Why did you make the microwave fuckable? Everything is ruined now. <laughs> you can, I guess, but you can't sell it for anything. Worked out for plenty of mangaka. Eh. I mean, I feel like... I feel like... There's equally a market for not for safe for work and not safe for work art. Like character commissions are a big thing, especially with how popular like tabletop RPGs are getting. People love having their characters drawn. I know because I'm people and I love having my characters drawn. Do I also want them drawn in not safe for work art? Uh, fucking course I do, but not always. I'm not flanderizing my character. That is simply a facet of who they are. Draw more gabos. I'm working on it. Oh, oh god. I should talk to her tonight. What are we streaming tomorrow? Are we stream what are we streaming if we're streaming tomorrow? Is Revy live right now? Cause like I don't think we decided on a game. I kinda wanna do more Risk of Rain too. The fuckable D D list? Oh yeah, we are just doing that. Or gunfire. I think we're just gonna do the tier list. Uh, what should we even call it? I, I mean, like, I can't name the stream titled most fuckable D and D classes because that'll get me banned on Twitch. I think. <laughs> you don't have risk of rain or risk of rain two. Well, I guess we're just doing the fuckable D and D class tier list then. Hope everyone's ready for that. Okay, I don't actually know how to get to this thing. Best D&D classes in bed. Alright, that's good. That's a good stream title. It's not that and it's not safe for work. And everyone knows what we're talking about here. Oh my god. The giant slime. Oh, it approaches. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh! Why was that an enemy? Oh. <laughs> Best D&D &D classes in bed, but we actually just discussed the classes most likely to suffer from insomnia. What was the name of that one supplement? Oh, oh god, what are you talking about? I, I, I fucking... Uh. Ask uh, Averiscos, if you can, ask Revy if she's up for the D&D &D tier list tomorrow. I, I, I feel like she wouldn't be up for that. I feel like we'd actually have to have a game that we would, we would, we would play. We could do that and gunfire. I feel like she would not be up for that, just doing that, though. That's kind of a nothing stream. <laughs> uh, number one. Oh wait, did I- was that everything? I got everything! Well, alright. I believe that is the game. Let's, uh, turn all these things in and see what happens.
I'm glad that this interesting cutscene is punctuated by the D&D fuckable tier list is interesting because it's not based on looks, or is it barely? <laughs> yeah, it, it. there's very few classes that have a, like, a looks requirement. If that... Well, that was Knit. That was Knit, everybody. Let's uh, quickly uh, reset. There we go. Yeah, no, it is a good thing. It's very interesting. So that was Knit. Um, pretty simple game i'm gonna confess not really like i mean it's old it's kind of a classic i i i enjoyed it i i kind of i don't remember it i didn't i just man i remember there being like other things i think there's more shit to explore that's just like not objective based uh i guess let's add it to the thing though That's it, I think. Can YTT. I actually don't know how this thing is spelled. Yeah, can YTT. Okay. Uh, we're going to mark all these as invalid because I just kind of did it. Additional notes. Old classic. Uh, okay. Opinion. I mean, it has really good amb It has good ambience. It's not too challenging. It's just a short little bite thing. Like, so, not too challenging. Uh, I guess I, it, it was like somewhat, there was some definitely some difficulty, but there was it was never frustrating. Challenging, not frustrating. Very good music. Uh, decent ambience. Yeah, it was just fine. I guess that's it. So that we've been going for like almost three hours. <laughs> I forgot entirely to talk to Revy. I don't even know what we're going to do. But, uh, oh, geez. Okay. I also need to actually make the tier list tonight. I mean, I, I literally just need to make tokens of all the classes, which shouldn't be too hard. I can do it pretty easily. Got in touch with Revy. Like, literally, I have the sheet done. I will make it right now, you motherfucker. You keep saying that, you actual gobbler. <laughs> All right, fuck. Uh, no, it's fine. I will make it right when I finish. I will, I will turn off the stream. I will get a drink of water, and I will make the tier list. But that is it for now. Um... I'm going to quickly do this. There we go. That is it for now. I'm going to see who else is streaming. I'm going to send you all in someone's direction. I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you to a good home. Uh, it's not you. It's me. <laughs> We're raiding someone, uh, by the way. That's where all of this is going. Let's see. Who's live? No one's fucking live. That's... Oh, Ricky's live. Do you want to watch Ricky play Magic? Are they still live? Are they actually live? I think they just went live. I'll probably shoot y'all over to Ricky. If you want to watch some... Uh, Magic the Gathering. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. I, I'm guessing he's just drafting. So I'll shoot y'all over in that direction. Um, so let's see. How the fuck do I do this again? Oh, here we go. Okay. Raid. Crew three MTG. There we go. I, I I doubt. I don't think he's even live yet. So I'm just gonna shoot you in that direction. Uh, but yeah, that's it, everyone. I did not mean to use unraid. What the fuck? Start raid. Okay, whatever. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Uh, that is it for now. 
Thank you all so much for being here. Nothing much happened today. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, probably going to be a, a doing that Deer List or Baby Gunfire Reborn with Averiscos and Revy. We'll see what happens. Take care, all of you. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Say hi to Ricky for me. <laughs>